When you think of an alu gosht, what comes to your mind? Well, we all think it's a curry with mutton and alu. But today, on our delicious journey, let's make an alu gosht which is slightly different. So for that, first, we'll grind 7 to 8 cloves of garlic, an inch of ginger. So we'll add this to the grinder. I've already got the onions roughly chopped. So I'm going to add this as well. And now we'll grind this to a fine paste, either without using any water or very, very little water. So this is how the paste should be looking. So now let's heat a kadhai. I'm going to heat half a cup of oil in this, which is about five to six tablespoons of oil. We we'll wait for the oil to get hot. So the oil is hot. I'm going to reduce the flame because I want to infuse the oil with some spices. So I'm going to add two bay leaves. I've just toned the bay leaves. An inch of cinnamon. Two star anise. Five green cardamoms. One mace. Five cloves. And ten peppercorns. We'll just wait for the spices to release their aroma. And now we'll add the ground onion. And now increase the flame after you've added the onion paste and fry till the onion paste has turned brown in color. So once the onions have browned, just add a kilo of mutton to it and sear or braise the mutton on a high flame for 5 to 6 minutes. Now that the mutton has been browned for about 5 to 6 minutes, we are going to add two potatoes that are mashed. And again saute the mutton and the potatoes for about a minute or two. So this dish is going to get a thick delicious gravy thanks to the mashed potatoes that we've added to it. Now we'll add a litre of water to this. Now just add spices to this. So we'll add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, two tablespoons of red chilli powder, a teaspoon of cumin seed powder, a tablespoon of coriander seed powder, some salt to taste. And now we'll give this a stir. Now if you guys are going to be pressure cooking this, there's no issue. But if you're going to cook it on the flame directly in a handi or in a kadai, just keep checking it every 10 to 15 minutes. And if you feel you need to add water, if the gravy is getting too thick, just keep adding half a cup of hot water. Every time that you feel that the gravy is getting too thick or you know it is burning. Now let's cover this and cook it on a medium to low flame till the meat is 70% done. So I kept the meat to cook for almost 45 minutes and it is 70% to 80% done. So now we'll add boiled potatoes to it. So I've halved three boiled potatoes. I'm going to add this. Add a teaspoon of garam masala powder. Here I'm going to add some slit green chilies, about five of them. Coriander leaves, two tablespoons of this. Mix this well. Now let's cover and cook this for another 10 to 15 minutes 
on a medium to low flame or till your mutton is done. So the mutton is ready. I'm going to remove this in a serving bowl. This is a very different recipe. I'm sure you must have realized it while cooking it. And uh, you can serve this with rice or you can serve it with bread of your choice. And uh, definitely try it. Let me know. Keep watching Smita Dev. Like, subscribe and share this video.